Hey, it's me, Tammy B, and this is my review for American Horror Story. So we're back, you guys, after a, what, two or three week break. American Horror Story is back. So season five, episode 11, titled Battle Royale. And clearly, I'm assuming, well, before I saw it, I was like, Battle Royale, something with Ramona Royale. But I couldn't help to think of the dancing dolls. <laughs> Don't they have a competition named Battle Royale? So anyway, y'all, boom, we jump right into the episode, and it starts right where we left off. I'm loving this, because I don't know why sometimes when some shows go on break, they be coming back like we forgot the last cliffhanger. But nope, this one starts right where we left off, you guys. So we see Liz and Iris getting gang ready, y'all. They loading guns, they sharpening knives, they, uh... <laughs> Well, that's all I really saw them do, you guys. So they show kind of, they well, they went back a little bit and just show how Liz and um, Iris bust in the room during the hotline bling. So they bust in the room to kill Countess. They don't know Donovan in there, y'all. So they start busting caps on the Countess and she get caught, shot a couple times. But then Donovan jump up, hug her, and then they shoot him. So the countess runs away and then Donovan all dead and bleeding. He was like, oh, y'all murdered me. And I was just like, no, son, I'm sorry. We just wanted to get her. Why did you even protect her? And he was like, whatever, I love her. He was like, I need you to get me out of this house, this hotel. I cannot die in this hotel with all her other lovers. <laughs> I was like, that's smart because that's a hell, I'm sure. But um, so Liz... Liz wanted to go. He like, fine, let's leave Donovan here. We need to go finish killing her or whatever. And I was kind of with Liz because if you don't get her now, you never know when you're going to get her again. And don't forget, Donovan has been doodling you your whole life. Um, but, you know, as a mother, I can understand that. You're like, I'm about, okay, he's been mean to me, but I ain't about to let my son die all in agony. So Liz and um, Iris drag... Uh, donovan outside to the street people all looking and stuff but they only dragged him right to the street oh and then soon as they dragged him to the street a car passed by i don't know was i the only one thinking that they was all about to get hit by the car <laughs> or at least donovan so anyway they drag him right there to the front and i'm like is that uh far away enough because remember when um sally jumped off the building to commit suicide i feel like she was just about that feet away that many feet away but i guess donovan was outside the gate so whatever that's semantics so anyway donovan all laying down dying and he was like am i free or am i clear and then iris was like yeah he was like thanks mom i was like oh you know that's the first time he called her mom you know ungrateful people wait till they die <laughs> but poor donovan right so Boom, y'all. Next thing we know, Sally uh, is helping the Countess. I don't know how, um, or even the Countess don't know how. She was like, what am I doing here? So the Countess is all shot up in Sally's room, and Sally is digging the, bu the bullets out of her body. <laughs> I was like, dang. And then, I don't know why, but, okay, if I dug some bullets out of somebody, I'll kind of be like Operation, just trying to, like, pick the bullet only and be all precise. Why does it seem like Sally was getting in there and digging? I was like, is she trying to hurt her on purpose, low-key? Like, I think that was what's going on. But anyway, uh, Countess was like, why you saved me? And she was like, I need you. I need you to get my boo John low back and, you know, all my other little boos leave. I've been stuck here forever. So you look kind of like one of the consistent things. So I'm going to go ahead and save you or whatever. And um, I guess she kind of just, we finally got a little bit of Sally's history, you guys. So apparently she wanted to, she had a boo and he was a drug dealer. So she had drugs and she was just like, uh, serving for him and kind of using it herself she wanted to be a musician so there was this couple they said the name and i didn't really catch the name and i just have a feeling that's probably a per a couple or a musicians in real life right so they said this little famous couple name and um even uh count is like oh i know them they kind of suck and she was like no they didn't suck i love them i think they was the best so whatever the countess fell back and let sally tell her little uh story or whatever and she shared a story about her having some orgies with a famous musician, and then she gave the guy heroin in the penis, and then she sold their bodies to her body because she wanted to feel all eternal connection. I was I was kind of like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. So anyway, while the, she was in the middle, the guy musician was on one side, the girl musician was on the other side. They was high. 
she sold them together. But see, from my understanding, at this point, Sally was regular, like alive. So I've never heard of anybody getting pleasure out of sewing flesh. But hey, maybe, I don't know. So anyway, the two uh, musicians OD, so she all stuck in the bed with two dead bodies. Miss Everett's popping. I was like, dang, Miss Everett's be popping up on your orgy and everything. So Miss Everett's like, they dead, girl. I'll be back when they uh when they boo boo and pee on themselves. I was like, you love cleaning up shit, girl. <laughs> Tell my I'll be back. I would feel like, hey, if they don't do it while I'm here, I'm off the clock. But whatever, you know, Miss Everett's crazy, y'all. So um then I don't understand I don't know. Y'all help me out. It was the whole episode was good, but it was a few parts I missed. So I mentioned the parts I missed. Maybe y'all could fill me in. So then Sally was laying there all dead and stuck. But I'm like, why you just wouldn't, I don't know, try to get out. So she laid there for two days and then some killer guy, because all she said was then he came to visit me. Who was he? I thought he would have been James Marsh, but that wasn't James Marsh. That was some like double headed zombie. So she got tortured by this double headed zombie for like three days and finally she couldn't take it no more. So she just jumped up and the flesh ripped from her being sold to the two dead people so now she just stuck there for life and she in a room full of dead bodies and she just helping countess right now so that was a little bit extra but i think that's what happened um so the countess was like i just need a little blood not human blood but um blood like mine and i was like i wonder what that means but i guess she mean vampire blood she was like, go get Donovan. She was like, Don, uh, Sally was like, Donovan dead. And so you could tell Countess was all sad. I was like, oh, she loved her little boo a little bit or whatever. So Sally came up with a new idea, and that was to bring the vampire kids. And at first, the Countess was like, no, 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 I can't kill my kids or I can't drink from my kids. And she was like, look, you need blood. I need you to help me get my boo back. So you about to drink this little vampire kid blood. And even the kids was like, come on, mom. It's okay. I was like, oh. So, Dr. and Mrs. Lowe, y'all, remember they walked out with Holden last week? So they all home. They didn't stop by grandma's house to go get Scarlet. And they all home. Scarlet looking around like, it's dusty. It's old bananas. Where y'all been? And the daddy, uh, Detective Lowe's like, don't worry about it. We good. We a family now. Everything is going to be fine. So Scarlett was like, are y'all going to eat me? <laughs> I'm like, I was mad that they just ditched Scarlett, but Scarlett is smart ass. I might have little left her little ass too. But anyway, but then again, hey, I want to know if you're going to eat me or not. Like, hey, but I really didn't catch how Scarlett knew about the vampire. I know she mentioned the kid from school, like y'all going to do me like him or something. But I'm like, how did she know that he ended up being a killer? Did that ever come out? Because remember, they just been killing for months and now they all dead in the room. So how did Scarlett know that that kid from school turned into a vampire and was killing people? But whatever, you know, it's fiction. So Detective Lowe was like, no, we good. We not. She was like, people go, no, y'all got a kid who's supposed to be my big brother. And now I'm bigger than him. Like he was like, we're not going to tell nobody about the son. We just going to live happily ever after. And I'll just get us blood. You don't worry about it. She like, all right. You can tell she's skeptical. Um, so Liz goes and cremates Donovan and brings Iris to ashes. And at first it was like a little weird because didn't he bring it in like a <laughs> Crisco can? <laughs> I was like, um, Iris is hood after all. <laughs> But, um, and at first it was weird. She dumped the ashes out on the bed and all massaging the ashes. I, at first I was like, oh, she mourning. But when she did that, I was like, that was a little weird. But anyway, it didn't take her too long to unweird herself. She called Miss Everett, like, yeah, come get these ashes. Uh, and Miss Everett's like, who is that? She was like, yeah, that's my son. Go ahead and do away with him. So I guess she had her moment. So like I was saying, I understand the mother having compassion for her son. Like, oh, I'm not going to let you die like that. But hey, now that he dead and cremated, she was like, all right, you done. Because you did kind of be mean to me. So, hey. Iris ain't too crazy after all. And once again, Miss Everett had a funny part. Remember, she never had a washing machine before. So then when Iris told her to vacuum the ashes, she was like, where's the bag? <laughs> I was like, I ain't seen a, a vacuum cleaner with a bag in I don't know how long. Do they still be make those? Well, they do. I seen them at Target, but I don't know. Um, so Liz and Iris go down to the basement to get Ramona Royale because Liz was like, oh, I know her from way back. She the only person who could help us. And Iris was like, I think she hate me or whatever. And 
he was like, you know, we good. We gonna fix it or whatever. So they get down there. They see all the dead kids. They see, uh, I think his name is Will Drake, right? The guy who the Countess was gonna marry. So finally they see uh, Ramona and Royale. And she like, what y'all want or whatever. Um, I didn't think y'all was gonna be on the Countess side. And Liz was like, no, I'm not. And she was like, Iris is. And Iris was like, no, I'm not or whatever. So Liz, Iris, and Ramona Royale, now they are a trio or whatever. Uh, Ramona Royale tells them, hey, I didn't ate all this blood, but something is missing. I need a kill. And once I get my kill, I'll be in tip-top shape to help y'all kill Ramona Royale. So Iris and Liz is tooling through the hotel, coming up with a plan. It was like, dang, so what are we going to do? Just go grab somebody or what or what or what? So they get to the first floor. Boom. Guess who at the checkout uh, desk waiting to check in? Queenie. I was like, oh, hi, Queenie. A.K.A. Precious. <laughs> A.K.A. Uh, what's her name in uh, Empire? Um, so Queenie says, slash Precious shows up and she came in town because she going to be on the prices right and she going to use her witch magic to make herself win. And once again, of course, my logic starts to think in. I'm like, either you just like the prices right and want to be on the show just to be on the show. Or if you use your witch magic to make you win, why don't you use your witch magic and rob the bank? That's easier to me. I ain't got time to play games. <laughs> But whatever. So they take her to the room, y'all. And she's looking around. You know, she was she's like, it's some evil spirits up in here. Uh-uh, I ain't staying here. Give me another room. And I was gonna say we booked. I would have been like, y'all know y'all ain't booked. <laughs> or I would have just picked a different hotel. I'd be like, I right, give my money back. I'm gone. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I don't know if that was the wind blowing real hard or if that was a little baby mini earthquake um or whatever so they was like all right girl just sit here freshen up and we'll go see if we got another room um so they leave and queenie goes to the bathroom and boom ramona royale bust out of the shower and start trying to oh kill queenie y'all queenie was clowning where uh angela bassett bust out the shower she was like bitch when the last time you've been to a dermatologist i was rolling because you know she all looking all dusty she been in the basement for like a month or whatever i was like i was rolling that was too funny i'm like you somebody trying to kill you and that's your first question <laughs> so they have a little rumble in the bronx y'all Ramona Royale slashes Queenie, but Queenie slash Ramona Royale back and then back again and back again. And then Ramona's like, what are you? And she was like, I'm a witch, so whatever you do to me. And she was like, oh, I need witch's blood or whatever. And Queenie was like, look, I'm trying to be on a show. You ain't about to play with me. Um, I'm out of here. And I was here for it. I was like, I was so be like Queenie. Like, I think I'd be scared. But yeah, after a while, I'm like, look, I don't got time to die. Like, we ain't got time to play these games. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Like, that's basically what Queenie, like, I'm trying to be on a game show. I ain't got time to be killed by no uh, vampire, like, fall back or whatever. So I think Queenie was going to win. Even though I hate to see the sisters fighting each other like that. I was like, we got Precious and Tina Turner going head to head. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Tina Turner was losing. So James Marsh bust out of nowhere and stabbed Precious in the neck, y'all. I was like, hater. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Precious dead, y'all, so Angela Bassett instantly jumps up and re, uh, gets all her blood, y'all, it was so weird seeing, uh, Angela Bassett on top of, uh, Gabrielle Sidibe like that, I was just like, it looked funny, but, um, you know, so, uh, Ramona Ray, I drunk the blood or whatever, and then James Marsh was like, hey, I need you to kill the Countess. Don't tell her because I want to be happily ever after with her. Like, if she die here, we're going to live happily ever after. But I don't want her to know that I did it or whatever. So I think she say, okay. Um. So back at the Lowe household, James Lower, John Lowe going to get some food for the family. And he got a man in the trunk like, hey. You make sure you ain't did no drugs, right? And the man like, no. He was like, I'm a cop. I'm a drug test you, yada, yada, yada. So basically, he kidnapped somebody so him and his wife and Holden could eat. And I guess he bought some regular groceries for Scarlett. <laughs> and so he goes in the house, and then he realizes his whole family is missing. But then he see a key to the Cortez, so he bomb rush to the Cortez. 
He busts into the room. He sees Sally. He was like, where my family at? Sally was like, look, unless you fulfill your little prophecy, if you will, with uh, James Marsh, you got to finish your little last kills. Uh, he gonna keep your family. She was like, I hate you, and as much as I wanted to kill you or your family, you know I don't leave. So it wasn't me. It was Marge. Go do your killings, and maybe you will get your family back. And he was like, okay, so I gotta find a murderer. And Sally was like, that shouldn't be hard. And I don't know why I thought he was talking about himself. I was like, oh, it's gonna be some stupid, not stupid, but like he gonna have to kill himself to finish the commandments or something. I don't know. I just thought it was gonna be somebody weird, but whatever. J uh, Detective Lowe realized, all right, in order to get his family back, that he just got back in the first place, he gotta do some more killing. Um. So boom, y'all. Remember the Countess uh got her little vampire baby blood, so now she back looking good. Uh, Ramona Royale got her little precious uh witch blood. So she looking good, y'all. They both look so bomb. They makeup was flawless. I was just like, oh my gosh, they look so good. I was like, I need some. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna say that. Um, yeah. So their hair is bomb. They dresses is bomb. So uh, the what's her name? Uh, Ramona Real goes to the Countess's room to basically like kill her or whatever. She bought one of Liz Taylor's dress. She looked better in the dress than he did, and. You know, they trying to give her guns and knives, and she was like, oh, I don't need all that. First of all, I'm just OG, period, and now that I got the witch blood, oh, I'm real good, or whatever. So, Ramona Royale walks up behind the Countess, and I think she about to shoot her or something, but the Countess was like, your blood, the scent of your blood gives you away. She was like, her blood smell like walnuts. <laughs> And then Ramona Ray, I was like, your blood still like smell like black licorice. I was like, okay, that was weird, but funny, weird, oddly cute, or whatever. So they recognize each other blood, and even though they want to kill each other, they still kind of love each other or whatever. So uh, uh, the Countess is giving some sob story about how her life is miserable because she can't never have nobody close. And uh, Ramona was like, you trying to make me pity you? No. She was like, I'm trying to apologize to let you know, like, yeah, I got you. You was all my boo. And then I, your boo was my boo, and I killed him. Like, you know, I'm sorry for that. It's just something that's in me for when someone's close to me, they're going to die. So I'm sorry. And she was like, go ahead and kill me. But before you kill me, let's have sex. So I guess they have sex. And then the next thing you know, we see the Countess looking bomb in a white coat and her little French roll or whatnot. And she got some luggage and she leaving. So they don't show Ramona Royale no more. So what happened? Did... I don't know. I don't even want to go into that. But whatever, y'all. So, I guess the Countess of Ramona, you know, they kissed or whatever. And it's so funny because I could have sworn I read something that said Angela Bassett did said she don't do sex scenes. But I guess that don't take... Maybe she meant nude. I think I said that before, right? Um, I don't know. Because they just kissed or whatever. They they wasn't like naked, naked. So, maybe she mean that. And even in the beginning when they did have so-called sex, she wasn't all the way naked. So, maybe she means she don't do... 100% naked scenes or something like that because I think she said something like remember Monster Ball where Holly Berry won the Oscar I think she was supposed to do it but because of the sex scenes she didn't take the role so whatever I was like you kind of all particular and there's nothing wrong being you know particular but I was just surprised that you so particular about a sex scene but you're down with um uh like same sex scene or whatever but you know I guess she figured hey I don't care who the person is as long as I'm not all the way naked or whatever um, so, the Countess looked like she about to bail out. She pushed the elevator, the elevator open, boom. She gets shot like 50 billion times by Detective Lowe. He got his gun drawn. He just like, bam, bam, bam. He ruined her white coat, y'all. Her jacket fly all open, her little stockings showing. I was, her little thighs was looking thick. I was like, oh, right, Countess. <laughs> um, so whatever, y'all. So, I... I don't know, I could have sworn he had two kills left, but whatever. He killed a countess. They cut off her head and put it in a little jar. And Marsh is like, well done. Uh, I couldn't have picked a better person myself. And I thought that too. When Once I saw him put the countess head up there with all the other kills, I was like, that was a good kill. Because he had to kill a murderer, right? And technically, the countess murdered his son. So it's like he getting revenge and fulfilling whatever promise he made to Marsh. So I was like, that was a cool little plot right there. Two birds and one stone. So after they all gloating, Sally, uh, drug 
Doug E. Self going to try to stab D- Detective Lowe right in front of James Marsh. Talking about he belong with me. He's supposed to be eternally here with me. But James Marsh, like, makes Sally fall back or whatever. Um, so now it's the monthly meeting that the Countess has with James Marsh. But she dead now. So James Marsh is telling uh, Miss Evers, like, hey, let's be nice to her so she can get used to being a ghost or whatever. And, you know, Miss Evers, like, whatever. So the Countess come in. They have lunch. They chit-chat, whatever, whatever, whatever. And Marsh says something like, I like, I even forgive you for turning me into the cops. And the Countess is like, I didn't turn you into to the cops. And he was like, we both dead now. You ain't got a front. And he was like, it wasn't me. She was like, I could have killed you so many different ways or hid you so many different ways. I don't need to kill you. So we look over. We see Miss Everett looking all funny. So she go ahead and admit. She's like, it was me. I left your handkerchief at the crime scene because I knew you wasn't going to get arrested. I thought you maybe want to run away for life and maybe run away from with me. And then we could just be on the run forever. I loved you. I wanted to be with you. But you all stuck with this hoe. She ruined everything. Like, I thought we was going to run away or be dead happily ever after. But you all twiddling with her. So it didn't work. And I'm sorry. So she all on her knees and begging, like, please say something. He just looking at her like, yeah, you're dismissed. You're banished forever. Bye. And she was like, all right, fine. Well, forget it. You know, I, I said my love. You don't want to be with me. Go ahead and be with that hoe. And the countess was like, girl, you ain't got nothing better to do. And this is another part. What did she say? I didn't catch it. I rewound it once. And she said, there's more stains on heaven and earth than here. Or I do better in heaven and earth more than you think. I couldn't really catch it. And I really wanted to know. Because I kind of, even though she's crazy, I kind of like Miss Evers. But, or some of the stuff she be saying. So I wanted to know what she said. But I didn't catch it, y'all. So anyway, y'all. Miss Evers didn't get her boo after all. I'm like, dang, she died and been cleaning up all this crap for years. And still didn't get the man. Who I be hating it when that happened to girls. Sometimes. <laughs> So that was pretty much the episode, you guys. Um, Marsh and the Countess went ahead and toast. I thought they would be drinking some absence, but they looked like they was drinking something else. And that was it. He was like, all right, now we happily ever after. So that was the episode, you guys. That was American Horror Story Season 5, Episode 11, Battle Royale. So I don't know. Did you guys see the preview? I didn't. But, you know, all I care about, I just want to know what happened to Tina Turner. (laughs) So, all right, you guys, let me know what you think about the episode. It was pretty good to me, even though it had a few things um, I I missed. But maybe after watching some other people reviews or reading some articles, maybe I could catch some of the stuff. Because I kind of missed some things in Sally's story. Like I said, I missed that little comment about Miss Evers. And, you know, I kind of feel like it was something that I missed in that little scene with, uh, with the Countess and Ramona Royale. But... I can't think of it right now, but like I said, it was good to me, you guys. So we back. It's on. I think it got maybe, what, three or four episodes left. Let me not say that because I don't know for sure, but hey. So that's it, you guys. So you know what's up? Give me the thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and check me out on Twitter at Tammy B underscore. All right, you guys. See you in the next review. Bye.